shall we wait until after the baby comes and then choose an exact date? Yeah, we still need to look at moving as well. Ugh, there's so much to do. It's okay, don't worry. It will all come good in the end. I hope so. This pregnancy has been so exhausting. Well, there's not long left now, honey. You are due next week. I know. I'm just worried I'm going to be late now. Where's your phone? Hurry up, Dave. I'm hurrying. I need to ring ahead to say that you're in labor. Forget the phone, Dave. Go and get the car. Right. Quick. Get in the car. I'm in. Let's go. Are you okay? No, Dave. My waters have broken all over the car. Don't worry about the car. I can clean it later. Ah, oh, are we nearly there? It hurts. Yeah, we're just a couple minutes away. Can you help me out of the car? I can't believe how long you were in labor for. I know. It was the most painful experience I have ever had, though. Was it worth it? I mean, look at his little face. It was worth every second of it to get this little bundle of joy. What are we going to call him? Well, you know I really like the name Peter. What do you think? Yeah, you know, I like Peter too. Aw, our little baby Peter. He has your nose, you know. Do you think so? I can't believe how small he is. Small? You try pushing him out and tell me he is small. <laughs> do you want to hold him again? It's okay, you can have a little longer with him. He seems at peace with you. Ugh, oh, this traffic is terrible. Is he okay? Yeah, he's fast asleep in his car seat. Don't worry. I had a phone call from our mortgage advisor yesterday. That's great news. What did he say? He said our offer has been made, so we just need to wait and see now. Oh, I hope we get it. It would be perfect for our little family. I think we will. He seemed very optimistic about it. Oh, good. Did he say how soon it could all go through? They're looking for a quick sale, so he said it could be only a couple of weeks. Oh, how exciting. I really, really hope we get it. Oh, wait. I just had a text from him. Ooh, is it good news? Yep, we got it. Ah, oh, amazing. How exciting. Peter is going to have a lovely house to grow up in. I know, but we have got so much stuff to buy. My dad said he would give us some money to help settle in. He has been helpful. I don't know what we would have done without him. I think you are definitely going to have to go with him to jiu-jitsu now. <laughs> I know. I've been avoiding it for so long now. Ah, uh, it'll be fun. And you know he's going to get Peter doing it when he's older. I have no doubt about it. He'll be wrestling bears before we know it. Ha ha ha. On that note, we really do need to baby-proof the new house. Mm, what do you mean? I just mean making it safe so there's nothing he can hurt himself on. Hey, how was your day today? It was okay. Peter's been a bit of a pickle, but apart from that, all good. Oh, that's good. So I found out today our official moving in date. Oh, when is it? It's two weeks tomorrow. That's the best news. I'm so excited. What do we need to get? Well, we can take all our stuff from the living room. Oh, did you not want to get new furniture? We can't really afford it. We are using most of our budget on the nursery. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. I have found a really nice nursery set. Are we going to paint his room? Of course we are. What color do you think? It has to be blue with some nice decorations on the wall. I was thinking green, but I'm happy with blue. Okay, I'll look online and order some nice blue paint. Have a look for a new cot for him as well. I will. When will he need his own bed? We will keep him in with us for at least six months. Oh, okay. Then does he go in a bed? No, he won't go in his new cot in his room until he's about two. I'm sure I was in my own bed before that. Well, knowing your mom, you were probably on the floor. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised at all. What are we going to do about the kitchen and bathroom? I think the kitchen in the new house is perfect the way it is. Um, yeah, it's okay, but I would like a new cooker. Okay, sure. I'll have a look around. Do we need a gas one or an electric one? It's gas in the new house. The old one was electric. Oh, I see. Shall we get a new TV as well? Can we? Maybe I could get an Xbox as well. I doubt it, Dave. You need to be helping me, not playing games. 
Ha ha, well, I thought I would ask just in case. Maybe for your birthday. It was my birthday last week. Yeah, I mean your next birthday. <laughs> Hi, Sarah, it's Dave. My signal isn't very good. Where are you? We've been waiting ages. The car is broken down. I'm just waiting to get towed. Oh no, are you okay? What's happened? Oh yeah, I'm fine. I think the engine is broken. Oh well, we could do with a bigger car for Peter anyway. I'm really sorry. I'm gonna be a while. What are you gonna do? It's okay. Don't worry. I'll ring my sister to see if she can pick us up. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll ring you back when I know what's up with the car. That's okay. If I don't hear from you, I'll see you at home later. Okay, say hi to the little guy for me. Love you both. Love you too. See you soon. Hey, sorry. I'm late home from work. That's okay. Have you had a nice day? Yeah, it was okay. Fed up with getting the bus, though. Oh, it's all right. The car should be back soon. Well, actually, Phil asked me today if I want to work from home. Really? Why? They're cutting down on office space, and some employees can work from home. Oh, that'll be nice. You can spend more time with us, then. Well, I will be meant to be working, but they'll never know, I suppose. Haha. <laughs> so are you going to say you will do it? If you want me to, and we've got that office space in the attic that I could use. Don't be silly. We will make space in the living room. I still need to sort this garden out. It did look a lot nicer before we bought the house. Yeah, I think the previous owners had a gardener. Why don't we get one? It's okay, I can do it myself. It'll be fun. Dave, you know you're not particularly good at these things. I am. I used to be a gardener when I was younger. You had a weekend job mowing lawns. I wouldn't quite say that makes you qualified. It'll be fine. Trust me. Okay, Dave. Aha. There's a number here for a gardener when... if you change your mind. I'll get started on it first thing tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> I will remind you in the morning. Hey, guess what? I've got a surprise for you. What is it? I love surprises. I'm bringing someone home to see you later. What do you mean? Call it an early wedding present? Dave, I'm confused. Sarah, I'd like you to meet Doug. Who is Doug? I don't know anyone called Doug. No, this is Doug. Doug the Pug. Aww, he is adorable. He is so fluffy. Isn't he? Do you like him? Aw, yeah, this is the best surprise ever. I'll go and get Peter. Is your sister really bringing Phil as her plus one? Yeah, I think so. Why? I'm just unsure of how I feel about our boss being at the wedding. I know. My sister always did have strange taste in men. Well, it's your fault for introducing them. <laughs> I didn't think they were going to hit it off like that. Well, Phil could soon be your brother-in-law. Ha ha ha. I don't know why you're laughing. After the wedding, he will be yours too. Oh no, I hadn't thought about that. Ha ha, it will be okay. Right, I need to go to my mom's to get ready for the big day. I'm gonna miss you. I'll see you in two days. I love you. I'll see you down the aisle, future husband. I vow to always be your best friend. I promise to forever be truthful. I vow to always celebrate us. I promise to communicate. I vow to support you always. I promise to always stand by your side. I vow to be forever faithful. I promise to always make time for you. I vow to love you through thick and thin. I promise to respect you forever. I am eternally happy to be your husband, Anna. I am eternally happy to be your... Wait, who's Anna? Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Dave. Hey, nice to meet you too. I'm Sarah. Are you enjoying your first day at work? Um, it's okay. I am quite nervous, though. Oh, don't be nervous. Everyone here is really lovely. I know. All my new colleagues have been really welcoming. Do you need any help settling in? I think I am okay for now, although I'm not sure where to put my lunch. The staff fridge is in the break room. I can show you if you like. That would be great. Thank you. I need to quickly phone a client. Then I'm all yours. Oh, lucky me. <laughs> Hey, Sarah, I haven't seen you for a little while. 
Hi, Dave. I know I've been off work for a couple weeks. Oh, no? How come? I haven't been feeling too well. Why have you missed me? I have, actually. It hasn't been the same without you around. Aw, you are really sweet, Dave. I have been wanting to ask you something, but I'm quite nervous. Oh, really? What's that? Would you like to go for a coffee with me after work? I'm not sure. I might be busy later. Oh, okay. Not to worry, then. I'm only messing with you, Dave. I would love to. Hey, Sarah. I'm pleased you came. I'm happy to. How was your day at work? Uh, it was okay. Phil is winding me up, though. Oh, is he? How come? I just find he can be very uptight sometimes. Yeah, he can be. He seems really nice, though. I suppose. Anyway, that's enough talk about work. Do you like it here? I agree. And yes, I do. I really love this coffee shop. Me too. And this coffee is delicious. How is yours? It's delightful. Do you come here often? Not really. I don't normally have anyone to come here with. Aw, well, you can bring me here anytime, Dave. Well, thanks for coming, Sarah. That's okay, Dave. It's been nice to get out of the office. Yeah, tell me about it. Do you have any plans this weekend? No, I don't think I do. Why is that? I was wondering if you would like to go out with me again. Oh, a second date already? Um, yeah, maybe we could go for dinner? That sounds lovely. What do you have in mind? There's a nice little Italian restaurant on 4th Street. Ooh, great. I love Italian food. Perfect. I'll pick you up at 8 on Saturday. Thanks, Dave. I will see you then. Are you enjoying the food, Sarah? I really am. This carbonara is so tasty. Oh, wait. You have a little something on your face. Oh, no. Have I got it? No, it, it's still there. I'll get it for you. Thanks. I don't know what I would do without you. Uh, I'm sure you would survive. That is very debatable. <laughs> I'm having a lovely time, Sarah. I really enjoy being around you. Me too, Dave. I don't want the evening to end. Well, maybe it doesn't have to. Haha, <laughs> don't push your luck, Dave. Hey, Sarah. I had a really great time last night. Me too, Dave. We should do it again sometime. How about we make it a more regular thing? Mm, I'm not sure I quite know what you mean, Dave. I mean, spend more time together and do more things together. What do you mean, like a couple? Um... Yes? Would you like to be my girlfriend, Sarah? I would absolutely love to, Dave. Do you mean I actually have a girlfriend now? Yes, Dave. You have a girlfriend now. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. I can't wait to spend more time together. Me too, Dave. I will catch up with you after work. I told my mother about you yesterday. Oh, wow. I can't wait to meet her. And what did she say? She was really excited and wants to have you over for dinner to meet you. Aw, oh, that's great. I can't wait to meet her. I am a bit nervous, though, as she can be very embarrassing sometimes. <laughs> Don't worry, Dave. My parents are even worse. Oh, really? We're going to have some eventful family dinners then, aren't we? Tell me about it. You just wait till you meet my dad. Aren't we meant to be seeing your parents this weekend? Yes, we are. Remember, they're driving down to visit for my sister's birthday. Oh, yes, of course. Silly me. Do you think they'll like me? Of course they will, Dave. I love you, so they will as well. Hey, I can't believe how funny your mom was this weekend. Ugh, don't. She's so embarrassing sometimes. Uh, she wasn't that bad. I'm just pleased she liked me. I can't believe she showed everyone those childhood photos. Well, I thought you looked like, uh... Um, very talented child. I wouldn't call being dressed as a Brussels sprout talented. <laughs> I can't argue there. Who even picked that outfit? It was my dad. He had all of his siblings dress up as Christmas vegetables. <laughs> At least it's a memory you'll never forget. Don't laugh too soon, Dave. He told me he has a costume ready for you this year. What? You're joking, right? Haha, <laughs> you will have to wait and see. What's that noise? It's Tony upstairs practicing his skateboarding. Are you joking? Skateboarding indoors? I know, it's so annoying. I swear it gets louder every day. I don't know how it doesn't drive you mad. My apartment is so much quieter. Yeah, I do much prefer spending time together at your place. Well, why don't you move in? What, are you serious? 
Isn't it a bit soon? Yeah, of course I'm serious. I know it's early, but it feels right to me. Where would I put all my clothes? I can build you a nice big wardrobe. Can we just buy one instead, Dave? Your DIY skills aren't that great. <laughs> Sarah, have you seen my passport? No, Dave, I haven't seen it since I've moved in. Have you checked the side? Yeah, I have checked the side. Haha. <laughs> Do you still have yours? Yeah, mine is in the loft with the rest of my stuff, I think. Why? I was thinking we should go on holiday. Ooh, that's a great idea, Dave. I love holidays. Where are we going? Well, I keep seeing great last-minute deals for holidays in Europe. Really? I've never been to Europe before. When shall we go? I can get all of next week off work. Should we go then? I will have to check how much holiday I have left at work. I think I'll have enough. Perfect. Shall we have a look at the holiday book at work in the morning? Yeah, that's a great idea. Hopefully, Phil lets us have time off together. Hey, so I've been looking at different places in Europe for us to go. Oh, that's great. What have you found so far? Well, I think Paris and Rome sound nice. Oh, Rome. That's in Italy, isn't it? I love Italian food. But don't forget, France is meant to be really romantic, isn't it? Oh, is it? Are you going to woo me, are you, Dave? Yes, I will woo my best Sarah. <laughs> Stop it, Dave, you silly billy. So, France or Italy, Sarah, you choose. Mm, I don't mind, Dave. I will leave it to you to surprise me. Okay, great. I hope you won't be disappointed. Nothing you could ever do would ever disappoint me, Dave. How long until our plane leaves? Mm, about 30 minutes, Dave. Why? What's wrong? I'm really nervous. I'm not good with flying. Oh, really? You never mentioned it before. It's okay. I don't want you to worry about me. Is there anything I can do to help? Um, I don't think so. Do you have any ideas? Maybe don't sit by the window so you can't look down? That's a good idea. Will you swap with me if I'm in a window seat? Of course I will, Dave. I enjoy looking out the window anyway. Ah, oh, that's great. I feel better already. Thanks, Sarah. That's okay, Dave. It's only an eight-hour flight anyway. Have we got everything? I think so. Did you remember to pack your toothbrush? Oh no, I actually think I forgot. It's okay. We can just buy another one when we get there. Oh, uh, that's a good idea. So, what can you see out your window? It's all just the ocean at the moment. Do you want to have a look? No, no. I'm perfectly fine. Haha, <laughs> okay. I think we're about halfway there now. Oh, thank goodness for that. I might try and go to sleep for a little bit. Okay, do you want me to wake you up when we are nearly there? Well, can you wait till after we land, as that is the worst part. Sure. Here's your sleeping mask. Have a nice nap. <sighs> Have I been asleep for long? Mm, I think you slept for about three hours. Oh, good. It says on the screen we'll be touching down soon. Yeah, we will. I'm excited to see the hotel. Ooh, yeah, me too. How many stars is it? It's a four-star hotel. Apparently, you can see the Eiffel Tower from our balcony. Have you got your camera so we can take lots of photos? Yes, I do. I can't wait to show our friends and family when we get back. I know. My mom can't wait to see them. We can video call her when we arrive if you want. Yeah, she would love that. You know how she worries. I know. She is a worrier, but you wouldn't change her, would you?